Okay, now for the particle effect. Go to create standard and select particle systems. Uh, make a P cloud just around the area of where the mushroom cloud is. Don't bother making it an object based emitter. Just position it approximately. Next, we're going to go um, space warps, forces, and make a particle bomb. We want to position this bomb um, behind the camera, exactly behind the camera. So we blow all the particles into the camera, and that'll make for a nice effect without having to dramat dramatically increase the render time. So in your perspective viewport, you can see we've got the bomb and the particle system, but they need to be linked up. So we'll go over here and press this find the space warp button, uh, link the child bomb to the parent particle system. And that's it. Um, for the bomb we're going to go over to modifier properties, um, set the start time 0, duration 100, and the strength to about 6. You can go play around with them, see how they alter the particle system. Next select, select the particle cloud, Leave the rate as 10. Go to emit start 0, emit stop 100. Set the life as 5 because they're going to be flying so fast they're going to fly past the camera within 5 frames. Um, set the size to about 8. Put up the variation, this is in percentage how different the sizes are. Under particle type, set it to tetra. And under the rotation and collision rollout, um, select direction of travel slash motion blur. That's all looking pretty good. Okay, now we should be able to see as we play the effect, all those particles are spraying into the camera. If you want, you can increase the life and decrease the strength of the bomb to make the particles move slower. Uh, select the particle cloud and just apply it. any dark material. We'll use the same fences material for the particle fragments. Um, select the particle cloud again, and under object properties, enable the motion blur multiplier. Now to do a test render, um, we've still got mesh smooth disabled, so it looks a bit spastic. Now you can see the blurring of the particles, it's probably a bit much. We'll turn the speed down, as recommended earlier. Set the strength to about 3, half the strength. Set the particle cloud under the particle generation rollout. Set the life until 10. If we render that again, that's much better. Additionally, if you like, we can press 8 and go back into environment and effects. Go to effects, add blur, scroll down, check radial, and set the pixel radius at 1%. Anything higher than that isn't really my cup of tea just render it, see how it looks. You can notice these edges are a bit fuzzy, you may not be able to see it on YouTube, but they're there. And we're almost ready to render. One more thing, open up this wonderful program called Audacity. It's free, you can download it. Terrible, terrible. Anyway, effect, generate some silence at the end of that because uh, Max has a nasty habit of looping the sound files when you don't want them to. Select that area, go to effect, um, just modify it a bit, make it a bit snazzy, change the pitch as well, to tune it down, see how that sounds. Eh, not bad. At this end part we're going to Fade it out, maybe do it once more, fade out, and save that export as a WAV to a directory of your choosing. Saved. Quit Audacity, don't need to save it. And go to back to Max in your mini curve editor down here, and go sound properties, choose sound, and select the sound you just created. 
with your own voice, I assume. Anyway, close that, and t lastly, we'll set up the renderer. Active time se segment, save the file, select a directory, and a uh, type bomb save, confirm overwriting, and turn on that mesh smooth. As a final note, you may notice that the mesh appears to be crawling even though we haven't animated any materials. This is because uh, in your materials uh, cellular map, diffuse cellular map, the coordinates are set toward XYZ, so when the mesh deforms, the texture stays in the same place. Uh, if you want to enhance it a bit, you can animate those materials. We can edit this um, inner fire. Actually, we'll edit the mcloud1 out of fire, press turn on auto key and take your slider to frame 100, set the offset to negative 30 and do the same for your smoke material, negative 30. Lastly we can change the mesh smooths iteration spec down to 1 for a faster render time. This is the result. <laughs> My name is Andrew Debson and I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. You can download the resource files from my website listed here. Happy blowing things up!